Hey everyone, uh, in this video, uh, we will deploy to Node.js based application to Azure App Service. So uh, we have a simple application. Uh, it's a simple to-do application uh, and it is talking to a Node.js based API and it's just gonna return the bunch of to-do when we can delete and uh, we can add more to-do. So the API, this is the API file. It's a simple uh, uh, express based uh, API application. And for the front end, we have a simple React based to do application. And in this, we, we have a certain component which will uh, which will do this interaction. So I can quickly show you. I'll just uh, uh, start the server and what it looks like. So if you can see, I have this. If I go to slash to dos, you can see we have a simple to do over here and this will we can fetch and we can add this will get updated it's it's a simple in memory based uh, api and we can do similar thing we can i can just say uh, npm start and i can say dev uh, npm run dev on the on my react based application and it's a simple uh, react application if i open this uh, and it will give me this application and this is the default to do which is already coming up here i can i can add something like record video and then when i click on add it will get added over here and then if i refresh uh, this particular api you can see this uh, particular to do already got added over here and we have other functionality i can delete this i can mark it as done and when i refresh uh, this thing will be updated so that first to do was deleted and then we have this completed too and i can just refresh and it will reload that state of the application from the api so what we will do now these two application are running locally what we are going to do we will take this and deploy to azure app service okay so i already uh, went ahead and created uh, two app service within the same app service plan so uh, when you uh, create a Azure App Service, uh, you, you can host multiple application within one plan so that uh, you only have to pay for the plan, not the app services which are running inside it. So I have this simple B1 uh, plan with one instance count, which is gonna be sufficient for what we are trying to show over here. And then I have two application. One is the API app where we are gonna deploy that Node.js based application. And this is called, this is where we are going to deploy the React application. Okay, uh, so how we are going to how we are going to deploy? Uh, so there are a lot of ways to deploy. We can we can use CLI, we can use uh, VS Code this extension, we can set up a full fledged CI/CD pipeline. But in this uh, video, what we will do? Uh, we will we will try to deploy using the Visual Studio Code. So if you have Visual Studio Code. There are a bunch of extension which you have to install if you go to extension you can you can install this app service and it already has a dependency on azure resource group which has a dependency on azure account so if you just uh, uh, install this azure app service it will automatically install all the dependent extension and as soon as you install this extension you can reload the visuals to the code once you reload it you will see something called uh, there should be some icon as Azure over here, and when you when you go to the first time on this particular icon, you can just sign into your Azure account, and it will show everything. So if you can see, I have if I expand the app service, I have that two app service which I was showing you on the portal. So this is where we are going to deploy the API, and this is where we are going to deploy that uh, test application, uh, the front end uh, React application. Okay. So let's let's go ahead and deploy our API project over here. And uh, what I will do, uh, I'll just right click on this. So there are a couple of ways to deploy. Either you can come over here and you can right click and uh, say deploy to a web app, or you can also wherever your application or API is, you can right click and say deploy to web app. Either way is fine. Uh, I'll just go to the Azure extension. I'll right click on the uh, the app service which I want it to be deployed. I'll just select the deploy to web app and you can browse and you can just select that API project. Okay. Now it is asking me uh, if there is already a content on that particular app service which is running. It's just a confirmation like it's going to override that particular content. And I'm okay with that. I'm just going to go ahead and click deploy. So as you can see, it will uh, start deploying in uh, this Azure 
a window will automatically open and you can see the deployment uh, going on. Okay, it takes a couple of minutes depending on uh, the workload you have, and uh, once it is it, it is deployed, you will you will see the option to open that API. So as you can see, I got this pop-up, the deployment is completed and I can just click on the browse website and it will open that to do application uh, in the Chrome or whatever the default browser which you have. Now, when you deploy something for the first time, there's a possibility it might take a couple of uh, minutes or a couple of seconds, uh, depending uh, to just, uh, it just rebooted the server for you. So it might take a couple of seconds uh, once this is loaded. So we'll just give it a few seconds. As you can see, the uh, the website is loaded now. If I go to uh, slash to dos, I should be able to see my to do. And this is what that default to do look like. Now uh, we have our API application up and running. Now what we need to do, because uh, React want to talk to this particular uh, backend, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this particular URL. Okay. I'll go to the React page where I'm calling this and uh, I already have one or you can just uh, replace this default one. Okay. And when this app will now up and running, it will talk to our hosted API backend. Okay. Now what we can do, uh, uh, we will deploy the this React based application. And similarly, we can uh, uh, will deploy this particular application to a different app service, and then it will be able to talk. So before we do this, I want to do I want to build this. This is the uh, React based application, and what we are going to do, we are going to host it as a static site because we don't want to run this on any node servers because we don't have any server component or anything. It can just work as a very static bare bone application. So I'm using Vite. Uh, uh, in Vite, you, what you can do, you can do npm run and you can say build. What it will do, whatever the configuration, whatever you change, it will take and it will create this folder called dist. And inside the dist folder, we will have our HTML uh, file and then all the assets, whatever we have created. You can preview this thing. Uh, if you just say npm run preview, uh, you can, uh, uh, serve this test folder and you can just go and see if your application is working as expected. So we can see uh, in the production application, we have one to do app and that we can see it over here. And we can say add from local. And as, as soon as I click on add, uh, this is added over here. I can go and refresh this as well. And we can see that add from local is appearing over here. Okay, now go, let's go. Uh, what we will do again similarly, uh, either you can uh, right click on this dist folder. You can right click on this dist folder and you can say deploy to web app or you can go to Azure uh, uh, app service and you can you can deploy it from here. So I'm going to use this test dash node zero AP to deploy my front end. I'm going to do right click uh, deploy to web app and I'm going to select that distribution folder. Okay, I'll go to Node.js, to the React app, and this folder. And again, it's it will give me the pop-up like if you want to overwrite whatever the content you already have in the app service. And yes, I want to do that. I'll click on the deploy. And again, it will take a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds, depending on the size of your project, to deploy this front-end application to the Azure app service. Okay, meanwhile, it is deploying. Uh, I want you to show one setting. If you are deploying uh, the static site, you have to, uh, when you come to your application, this is gonna be my application where I'm gonna deploy the front end because uh, when the app service runs, it looks for any backend code path to run. For example, if you're running Node.js, it might be looking for app.js uh, to run it. And if you're running some different uh, uh, type of project, for example, Java or .NET, it will look respective uh, uh, process to start. But in our case, uh, for the front end, we are not uh, deploying any Node.js application. We're just deploying the static uh, site, which has just a bunch of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. 
So for that, what you have to do, you have to come to your environment variables and here there will be a section, uh, sorry, you have to go to your configuration and uh, you, there should be an option where you have, you can override the startup command. And if you scroll it down, there should be a startup command. And this is what you have to write. This is going to be the PM to serve. And this is your, going to be your WW root, root. And then you can say no daemon and dash dash SPA. And this will, this when the app service will start, it will without any uh, uh, Node.js server running or whatnot, it just start serving your static application from here. I will already put this command into the show notes so you can just grab it. Okay, uh, let's see if the application is deployed. As you can see, the test node 0 AP is deployed. I can click on the browse site and uh, yeah, we can see uh, we have these two uh, to do uh, which one which is default uh, by default added from the API one which when we were testing local we added and we can uh, uh, we can add from Azure and this will get added and uh, similarly we can go and refresh our API and then you can see from Azure is also added over here. So this was the quick video about how we can uh, deploy uh, both the front end and the back end uh, uh, application which is written in Node.js Node and JavaScript uh, to deploy to Azure App Service. In the next video what we will do we will take this application we will containerize it and we'll see how we can run the containers on the app service. Uh, thank you so much uh, uh, have a great day.